Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we are going to make a two by four. Um, so cube was pretty simple. Uh, it's a good beginning tutorial. And then a two by four is pretty similar. But one thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the materials of it. And of course, do some editing of some dimensions. All right. If you haven't watched this introduction to Fusion 360 on making a cube, links popping up above. And if you're ready to move on, we can jump over here to this new design or this plus sign. Click on that and you can get started. So the first thing we're going to do as we have an untitled document is we want to, first of all, change, uh, hit this down arrow and change it from millimeters, hit the pencil and change it to inches because for crying out loud, we're doing a two by four. All right. Uh, the next thing we want to do is give it a name. So we want to go file, save, it'll pop up and we're just going to call it two by four. And of course your initials and keep it in your practice folder. If you're playing along at home, hit save. All right. Now let's start our sketch by hitting this create sketch with the plus sign here. We're going to do it on uh, this work plane right here. And we're going to grab a two point rectangle, always start in the origin and move our way out. You can see a couple dimensions are changing as you go up. You've got your height dimension and side to side is your width dimension. And so uh, my height is the one that turns blue. So I'm going to change that from, I'm going to type the number two and a lock pops on there. That means it's going to lock at two inches. I'm going to hit the tab and I'm going to go four and that lock happens and I'm going to hit enter. And now I have a two by four. I'm going to hit finish sketch. And so we can then extrude it. And we can say, I want the two by four to be 12 inches. Double click your mouse, or you can zoom in or zoom out with this uh, roll center mouse button. But I want to bring you back a little bit. A two by four is not usually two inches by four inches. That is the nominal value. We want the actual value of a two by four. So we're going to double click on sketch one down here on the bottom left. And the actual value of a two by four is 1.5 for the height. So I'm going to double click on the two so I can edit it. And then I'm going to double click on the four so I can edit that to 3.5 and hit enter. I'm going to finish the sketch, makes it a little bit smaller. I'm also going to double click on the extrusion because I want a six foot board, not just a one foot board. So to um, do that kind of calculation, you might have that memorized, or you can do a calculation, say 12 inches times six. And then you might've saw it just jump like that. If you hit okay and zoom out a little bit, you can see now you have a six foot board. All right. And then of course, down here, you can, you can see the play button and how it works and all that, which is pretty darn cool. Um, now we want to get into the body of it. And I want to hit this arrow and I want to right click on the body and go to physical appearance. It might take a second. There, mine's a little laggy. I probably, cause I'm recording right now. Um, and since I want to make it out of wood, you're going to have to scroll down in your library, find the wood, single click it, and then scroll down and you can see you've got some different types of wood. I'm going to grab uh, some cherry wood. I'm going to drag it over and drop it on my piece of wood. And now it looks like a piece of cherry. And also you have some physical appearances as a piece of cherry. Um, just like that. So we are, um, and you can always uh, click the orbit button and move it around, but the shortcut for that is shift and then the center mouse button. And you can now move it around and see, um, this is a look at. So if you click on that and you click on the side, it directly looks at the side. Um, You've got, of course, your house that will give, bring you back to your isometric um, are some other ways to do this. So last and certainly not least, you want to save your work. So hit file, save, and 
version description. So you can call it V1, um, you can call it done for your two by four and click OK. And now you can see I've added this and it's all done. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.